Hi everybody, this is Miss Sikama here, and I'm gonna give you a little demonstration on how to embroider your project. So embroidery is when we decorate something with a needle and thread. And remember, sewing is when you put two pieces together. So for our embroidery here, we're going to work on our roots. I have my vegetable cloth right here that I practiced. I did my stamping on and my printing and I even have a couple vegetables started. But let me show you how to do this. You'll need a needle. You may or may not need a pair of scissors. Just keep in mind if you might need them. And then you're going to um, start to sew. I started this for everybody by putting the thread through the needle hole here. I just keep it close to my fingers and push it through. After I have it through, I tie it around the loop and then poke the end in, just like that. I did find that if you do it one knot, they slip off pretty easily, so a second knot might be helpful, unless you wanna keep re-threading it. There you go, and that's on there. At the end, you're going to need an anchor knot so that it doesn't go right through. Watch this. If I'm trying to sew and I don't have an anchor knot, I'm trying to embroider, it's gonna pull right through. So you need to tie that loop around your finger, right? And then poke the tail through and then hold it right at the knot and do it again. I'd like you to do this yourself. I'm not gonna do this for you, but if you are struggling and you're getting knots, but they're not lining up, I'll come around and help, okay? So I've got my anchor. I'm going to do the radish right now. It probably makes more sense to start on the carrot, but there's not a lot for me to show here because the carrot doesn't have a lot of space. So I'm going to start on the radish, starting from the back. And it really doesn't matter what the back looks like. It can be messy because no one's going to see it. See my anchor knot is working. You don't want to pull it too far. And then I'm going to dive back below. Sometimes it can get caught on a corner like this, and that's no big deal. You just help yourself out by moving that and pulling it down. I'm underneath, my needle is under the water, so I'm gonna come back up. If you wanna do a running stitch where you just stitch it straight in a straight line, it's up, down, up, down, and it's making a nice little running stitch. I can even do a third one just to show you, I'm up above the water. Now, it doesn't make, a, it's not gonna look very good if I start pulling, you could make a V or something like that, diagonal line from the bottom, but I always like to have mine coming up from the, from here. So I'm underneath the water, I'm gonna pick a spot and make a little diagonal line coming out coming up closer to you guys. I'm under the water. Sometimes if you're talking too much to your friends and you're not paying attention, you might forget that your thread is under the water and you're gonna try to come up from here. Now that would be a, a big mistake. You'd have to try and backwards work your needle out and it can get tangled, so be careful. Maybe I'm gonna do right here, come out right here, make a root here. And the great thing about roots is you can just kind of put them wherever you like as long as they're kind of tidy and they're underneath the vegetable. People will understand what you've done. You're above, you're below, you're above, you're below. And then when you're ready to move to the next one, I'm going to show you what the back looks like. Ooh, that back doesn't look that pretty, does it? But it doesn't matter because it's covered up by the paper. I can just move my needle over and start working on the next vegetable. Oh, when I moved over, something happened. I pulled it really hard and that connected it. Make sure you don't pull it so, so tight that you're bending your burlap, okay? So I'm making a root right here. Also make sure you're not coming up in the middle of the vegetable. That would look kind of strange too, right? I'm gonna stop talking and let you guys get started. 
Make sure if you're struggling, you ask a friend to help before you come and ask me because there's only one of me and there's a lot of you guys, right? Thank you.